Okay, let's talk about settings in Twinmotion. Ambient settings. If you click on this scene manager and the top of the category ambience. If you click ambience, the settings of the ambience will be appear here. Here. We have <clears throat> a lot of tab here that you can close them with click uh, on them. The details will be open. The natural lighting is changing the uh, day cycle of lighting. Don't just click and drag this daylight. Just one click and see the changes will be appear. And stay to <clears throat> everything change. Okay. And also you can click on this eye and from here you can change the daylight in the details you can change the sun intensity the power of the sun just click and release the mouse to all these effects will be uh, happen in a scene sun size uh, find the sun here you can change the size of the disk of the sun nice and the sun reflection the sun has reflection uh, the specular on the object you can control the sun reflection you can see we have less or more you can change it a uh, moon intensity if you are going to the night yeah this is our moon and you can change the look at we are waiting and waiting uh, because my computer is not very powerful for such a this software. But for uh, uh, main important thing, for seeing the um, ambient settings better, you have to go to the edit preferences and make the quality at the highest number of that you allow. Okay, because of that, my CPU are one hundred percent used. <clears throat> Here you can change the moon intensity, the light of the moon. It's become, a, you can change the moon intensity. At the, it's completely be at the night. Star intensity, you can change the intensity of a star. You can see we have less or more. Nice, an ambient is overall lighting of the scene if you want you can make it less or more it's actually lighting the ambient not the sky ambient lighting of the object scene anything okay let's bring it back to daylight <clears throat> okay and the, another tab is weather <clears throat> it's very interesting you can control with a sunny to cloudy just click and you can see the this is a rain it's affect the surface and of course the rain does not come to uh, the area that has the roof this is not rainy between rainy and cloudy and if you go to the changing the season you can go into directly in a snow when it's snowy and you can see we have these particles that come from or you can go to <coughs> sorry and uh, going to the sunny day and another thing that we have here fog you can add fog on your scene you can see the fog of, of, of coming from far from here it's fog high you can change this tab is above the particle uh, precipitation 
<coughs> means that you can control the particle, rain and snow. For example, if we are rainy and you can enable or disable the rain. You can see we don't have any rain again. Uh, the brightness of the this particle, if you give a lower number, you cannot see the particles because you change the brightness. If you make them at the highest number, it means one, you can completely see the rains. It's actually control the brightness of this particles that you can see better on a scene. Surface effects, all of these are surface effects. You can turn it off. Now we can see we don't have any surface effect because of the rain or snow. Wetness. How much wet do you want to surface be? Less or more. Nice. Puddle size. These parts are puddles. You can change these holes. Size. More. Less. <clears throat> And of course, you can offset X, move them in X, or move them in a Y direction. Weather condition, you can change the wind speed, less wind, you can see, or more power, and of course, the direction of the wind. Vegetation growth. If you have lots of vegetation in your scene, all of this vegetation, trees, landscape, bushes, grass, anything that you use <clears throat> on a scene, you can control overall growth from this slider. Interesting. Location. You can change your light uh, and the light of your scene. Let's turn off the weather. Going down. Location. It's automatically detected through your location and you can change this mounts and the location of your country that you are. And it will be change the lighting condition with that, with that location that you are. <clears throat> HDRI environment, I explained it before. If you enable it, you can use the HDRI images. I explained it before. These are here. Library, <clears throat> HDRI environment. That we can download them. <clears throat> Nice. Horizon means the this part of the scene. We have a lots of settings. If you enable that, you can see uh, from here you can um, change the background image at the far, or you can delete the landscape from the scene to better seeing that your horizon ambience in this scene i think <clears throat> it's better to use this mm, or something like that and the setting of that you can rotate it if you want and you can create a real landscape here it's very easy another thing interesting thing of this uh, the last setting of the ambience in the environment again we have one two three four main tab on ambience that the first thing is environment then is a camera setting then is render setting and then effects okay in an environment the last setting of that is enable ocean with one click you can create an ocean interesting you can change the height of your ocean the higher for example the higher number well you can see interesting 
And from here, you can change the appearance of your ocean. Which water color do you want? And you can create Iceland with painting the landscape that I explained it before. Okay, this is the last setting of the environment tab. Then the next lesson, we are going to the camera tab. Okay, let's turn off the ocean. Let's turn it off. I'm going to the next tab. 